What's up? It's William from Rocket Zero, and welcome to another Pixel Art tutorial. In this video, we're going to be building Nine Tails Pokemon number 38 on the Pokedex. Now, for this fire type, we're going to need some brown, black, sand, red, and then just a couple blocks of our white wool. So, we're going to begin this Pixel Art by placing four black wools going straight up. But let's not get too close because that tail does stick out a lot. Okay, so we're going to go up by four. So, one, two, three, four. And then here we're going to place a black wool. Now, after we build something, I'm going to take a big step back, allowing you guys the opportunity to maybe hit pause just in case you need to. And then what we're going to do is that we are going to place a sand with a black wool on the right. And then a brown on the top. On the right of this brown, we're going to go up by three black wools. So one, two, and three with a brown on the top. Now over here, on the left side, we're going to go one, two, three with our brown wool. Then we're going to place a black wool below, two black wools on the side, two black wools in this part of the brown, one, two. Then we're going to place a sand with three black wools surrounding it. So I know that was a lot, so I'm going to hover here for a couple extra seconds, giving you guys the time to basically place the blocks. Then what we're going to do next is that over here, we're going to add one sand block, then a black wool, a sand block, and three black wools. A sand block with a black wool on the top and on the right. So I know this looks super trippy, but it's going to make sense in just a bit. We're just going to keep building and it will come to shape. Then what we're going to do is that over here, we're going to add a sand on the top and we're going to go one, two, three, four. All right, so now let's start building a bit on the right. So to get on the right, we're going to grab our brown, not our brown, I'm sorry, we're going to grab our black and we're going to place it right next to this brown. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then again, one, two, three with three brown wools so make sure you guys have this once again it's going to be three black wools then three black wools three brown wools and then a black on the bottom two on the side then a black wool on the top with a brown on the top so once again, feel free to pause it whenever you need to. This is kind of a complicated Pokemon Pixel Art because there's a lot of blocks making all sorts of like sharp turns. And because we're building with sand and sand, you know, if you place it on the side, it's just going to fall. It always has to have a block in the bottom. So it's just, it's not something that is easy to build with. So now we're going to grab our brown wool and right here, we're going to go up by four. So one, two, three, four with two black wools on the top. And then here on the brown, we're going to go up by five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to add a block on the right. Then we're going to add two brown wools with three black wools on the right. And then right here, we're going to add a black with a brown on the left. Now, like I said before, when you place a sand and there's nothing underneath, it's just going to fall straight down. So for a brief period of time, we're going to be using a red block and then we're going to replace that with our sand. Like right here, we're going to place a red with two black wools, then a red with two black wools. And we can go ahead and delete those two red blocks. Then we're going to add a red with a black wool on the bottom. Three black wools on the side, and then a red with a black on the top. Let's go ahead and delete those two red blocks. We're working on the tail right now, in case you were curious. And then what we're going to do here is that we're going to place a red with two black wools, then a, well, dang it, then a red with a black wool on the left, and three on the the bottom and now let's delete those two red blocks and we're left with this
If I'm not talking for a second, I'm just like making sure to give you enough time. So don't pretend like I walked away. I'm just trying to give you guys enough time to finish building. All right, so then we're gonna place a brown with two black pools and then a brown with two diagonal black pools with a brown on the left. So make sure you have those two black, then two diagonal. Then we're gonna place a brown with two black pools going up, a brown with three black pools going up with a brown on the top. Then over here, we're gonna add two black wools with a brown in this corner, and then a black on the top of the brown. And on this side, we're gonna go up by three. One, two, three, with a sand block and two black wools on the top. And right here, we're gonna place two sand blocks and a black wool. Then two sand blocks and two black wools. The nets of the sand, we're gonna place five black wools moving towards the left. So one, two, three, four, five. And let's go ahead and place a red with two black wools towards the left. Make sure to delete this red. Then up here, we're gonna add three red wools with two black wools on the left and three black wools on the top. Let's go ahead and pop those three reds out. Over here, we're gonna need to add a sand with a black on the right. And then another sand with a black on the top. We're gonna add a red with two black wools on the left and then a red with a diagonal black wool on the left. Let's pop those reds out. This is what we have so far for the tail. We still have to do one more thing on the top. Which is gonna involve over here in this top section, we're gonna place three red wools with three black wools on the top and then two black wools on the left. Let's pop those red wools out. Now over here, we need to add two diagonal black wools going down. So we're gonna place a red, a black, a red, a black, and take those two red blocks out. Now over here, we're gonna place two red wools. So we can place two black wools and a diagonal black wool. So this is what we have so far for our nine tails. It's looking absolutely great. This is probably gonna be kind of a long build because it's really intricate, but we just gotta keep at it because it's gonna look absolutely awesome at the end. So it's definitely worth building. All right, so over here, what we're gonna do is that next to this brown wool, we're gonna place a black. And then on the top, we're gonna place four black wools going towards the left. So one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna place a brown with two black wools, a brown with two black wools. Then we're gonna add a sand. Oh no! We're gonna add a sand with three black wools on the top, like so, and a brown in the corner. Then we're gonna place a black with three brown wools. Now next to this brown wool, we're gonna place four black wools going down. So one, two, three, four. Then right next to the four, but right here, we're gonna go down by five. So one, make sure that you start right there. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna add two brown wools, a sand, two black wools, 
and then we're gonna place a red wool with a brown on the left and let's pop that red wool out. Let's take a big step back. So you should have up to this point in the pit starts looking absolutely great. We're just gonna keep building. Remember that at the end of the video, we're gonna go ahead and fill it in with sand. That's gonna probably take a while, but it's needed. So now let's keep on building over here. What we're going to do is that we're gonna move up here. We're gonna add a sand. And on top of the sand, we're gonna add two black wools and a sand. Then we're gonna place a black wool on the right, three black wools across the top with a white and a black. Nine Tails has a little bit of like white hair on the top of his head, so that's what this is supposed to be. But if you don't like how it looks, you can just do it all with sand. I almost did that because I thought it looked a little better, but I'm gonna stay true to the pit sword. So there's a little bit of white there. So now we're gonna add two white wools and then three black wools. Then we're gonna add three white wools with one in the middle and three on the side. Then we're gonna add a red wool and we're gonna surround it with three black wools. And below this red wool, we're gonna place five black wools. So one, two, three, four, five and let's go ahead and pop this block out and replace it with a sand block really wish sand blocks didn't have gravity because it's really annoying to have to use all these red blocks only to have to break him later then we need to add one brown wool here do you guys see this one spot so one block from the bottom to the right you're gonna add a brown then we're gonna add two red wools with three black wools down the side and then one block below the red, and let's pop those reds out. And now starting right here, we're gonna place four black holes towards the right. So one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna place two black holes towards the right. And then down here, we're going to add a sand with a black on the left. And this is going to be the outline of our nine tails, Pokemon number 38 on the Pokedex. We still have to add just a little bit more detail before we can start filling it in. So I would definitely recommend to maybe hit the pause button here so you guys can, can use this time to double check. Make sure everything is the way it needs to be. So now we're going to go up here. What we're going to do is that we're going to add a sand with a black wool on the right and then over here we're finally going to use red wool without having to break it we're going to place three red wools with a white in the border and then a sand with a black wool on the right and we're completely done the only thing we have to do is fill it in with some sand and once we do that we're going to be left with a pokemon that looks like the one on the left so I'm gonna just park it here so you guys can see how you need to fill it in, but this time it's super easy. Most times it's super easy, but this time in particular, we're just gonna have to fill it in with some sand. So while you guys do that, I'm gonna start saying my goodbyes. Thank you so much for watching this Nine Tails Pokemon Pixel Art tutorial. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Feel free to check out the rest of our Pokemon in our Pokemon playlist. I think we have almost, I don't know, like, 50 something Pokemon. So I know this is 38, but we've done a couple out of order. So we have maybe 50 different Pokemon, maybe even more than that. So feel free to check those down below. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Tell your friends about us, and we'll see you in the next video.